Well, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Yusuf Ben Lucif. I'm the founding member, North American founding member for Omega Global. And it's certainly my pleasure to talk about this technology, the M Water Actify Water Treatment System. I'm totally passionate about it. And some of you actually back home watching this presentation, you know that uh, I'm the co-founder of uh, Holistic Medical Practice in Chicago. And we use this, me and my partner, Dr. Tobias, with patients. Patients who have lost their state of health. And uh, the reason why I'm so passionate because it's the simplicity of it. You know, most of you are saying back home, what's the big deal about water? As you can see in here, we're going to have different comparison of liquids and waters for you. But water, moreover, it's, it's a water equal life. Water is sine qua non to life. Okay, without it, you know, past, you know, life will, will, will become something of our demise. And uh, as a matter of fact, some of you know that the red planet, Mars, the difference between Earth and Mars, and scientists and astrophysicists and NASA constantly pushing that question about water. They want to find another, water, another planet with water because if there is water, typically there is what? Life. And certainly the human body is made with water. We are 75% water creature. Think about it. Our brain is 92% of water. Our blood is 94% of water. Our bones, which we think as solid, are 22% of water. So differently, without a doubt, we are water creatures. And without it, that could lead to dehydration. And dehydration is not simply the mere fact that our brain is saying, oh, I'm thirsty. Yusuf, why don't you go ahead and serve yourself a glass of water? No, 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 no. Dehydration is a very serious medical condition. If that behavior continues for days on end, getting, you know, all constantly dehydrated, what's called chronic dehydration, that could lead to serious physiological impediment. Things from strokes to heart attack to uh, thymus gland. You heard about the thymus gland, right? It's a, it's a gland right here. Plays a huge role in our hormonal system, our uh, endocrine system. And the thymus gland actually matures and activates lymphocytes. That's a technical term. Basically, the blood cells, that, that the white blood cells that go up and down your system and checking out IDs of friends and full cells. And they actually, those cells can check out if there is a cell start turning into mutation before malignancy happens. In other words, before cancer get, you know, happen in your body. Those cells are like the, 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 the specialized police that go in and check us out and keep us, you know, our immune system up and protected. And the thymus gland, many studies shows when we get dehydrated, it actually shrinks. The thymus gland is right here. It shrinks by 50%. I don't know about you guys. I don't want my thymus gland to shrink by 50%, okay? I want it watered and I want it plump. So water, it's, it, it's this incredible thing. One more thing, one more fact about water. Uh, we all relieve ourselves in the morning at least once or twice a day. Go into the bathroom, there is to eliminate the waste and so on from our body. Well, guess what? That peristalsis, also known as bowel movement, you need a quart of water to get all that stuff moving. So if you do not have, if you have a body that is really water thirsty or dehydrated, well, the system, your body, is going to find water from other areas, maybe from other cells, maybe from other tissue, maybe from other organs. So it becomes uh, some physiological complication. And every time you're pushing your body toward those predicaments, then you're leading your body and you're opening gates of opportunity to your genetic predisposition. And then, of course, if there is diabetes in your family, that's what you're going to have. If there is any cardiovascular problem, that's what you're going to have. Osteoporosis, cancer, whatever. So water and hydration is extremely, extremely simple. However, unfortunately, we do not understand the subject of water. And uh, we were born in mother's womb, we were just, you know, swimming in that precious water. And when we were born, we discovered, you know, there's plumbing and there's water. But oftentimes, our idea of water is called, it's, it's synonymous to clear liquid. You're going to find out today it's more than just clear liquid. Because in our tap, in our kitchen, in our faucet, comes that clear liquid. But unfortunately, I hate to pierce your bubble or I hate to dishearten you, what's coming out of your kitchen is not water as nature intended water to be. So there's more to the story of the water. Therefore, that's why we have in this presentation. So without further ado, so we're going to start, you know, doing some presentation in here, some comparison of liquids and water, and we're going to have a lot of fun, right? We're going to have a lot of fun. So it's very, uh, uh, I call it the eighth wonder of the world. 
This little 10 pound consumer appliance is actually serves a thousand pound technological wonderment. It is definitely a breakthrough technology. Do not get disillusioned by its size or by its color or whatever. What's coming out of this device? And moreover, what you're going to find out in a few minutes, it does all this technological uh, uh, magnificence without a single drop of chemical. Let me underline that. Without a single drop of chemical. That's really huge. What basically we're going to have, we're going to have water that's going to go to the device. And then, I know we'll talk later on about it, but water going to go through the device and it goes to different... Uh, uh, channels through the filtration system, through an engine called the ionization chamber, and I'll talk in details later on when I explain the machine, the device, but then what's coming out of here, it's a beautiful and precious product called the M-Water Actify. And so today we're going to talk mainly right now about the property of the M-Water Actify, and namely there are four properties. We're going to cover the ORP, oxidation reduction potential, I know it's a mouthful, but we're going to talk about it in detail. Then we're going to talk about the alkalinity and why alkalinity is very important to our body. Okay? You know, you remember from high school, the pH, okay? Potential hydrogen, you're either alkaline or acidic. And then we're going to talk about the microcluster. And then last but not least, our wonderful technology from Omega Global is the AFT. And the AFT is, stands for amized fusion technology. And that's the zero point energy. And uh, really, it's a... It's a an incredible scientific tour de force when the company took AFT and put it in this device. Therefore, this is very, very unique. Ionization is not unique. Ionizers, they're out there in the marketplace. As a matter of fact, in Japan and so on, in Korea, there, people are used to the negative, what they call negative uh, water. And I'm going to show you why we're talking about negative uh, water. But uh, as far as this device, as an energizer, it's the only one in the planet okay so and you're gonna see what it means to you so without further ado let's go ahead and start these liquid presentations okay and for that I'm gonna need some cups how about that all right we're gonna compare Gatorade and Sprite and Aquafina and Dasani and not to pick on any particular brand guys Arrowhead sparkling water we're gonna compare the good old vodka and you have to understand one thing folks this is really, we're not picking on Sprite. This is works, that statement is really ubiquitous throughout any soda, whether it's Coke, Sprite, whatever. But we're picking it because it's liquid. And so I can show you the, the ORP and the pH is much easier. Same thing with Gatorade. We pick this clear Gatorade, okay? So without further ado, we're gonna put this thing in here. And you know what, athletes, drink a lot of these things, right, Gatorade. And we assume, as consumers, if athletes drink that, it must be good for us, right? Well, we're gonna find out if it is. Sprite, good old Sprite. I used to drink a lot of soda. I don't anymore, because I understand it better now, okay? Aquafina. And it's amazing, you see people all over the airport buying this water at the tune of $4 a bottle. And it is just totally crazy and nonsense when they find out exactly what are these uh, products contributing to their body from uh, an oxidation and from acidity and so on. Smart water. Okay, let's take it from the top like this. You've probably seen uh, Jennifer Aniston, you know, representing smart water. And uh, Tom Brady from the NFL, smart water. And again, Rich and famous and athletes, if they drink this water, they must be what? Good for us. Well, we're going to find out. This is really a, it's all, whoa, hello. Ha ha. Champagne, anybody? Or maybe aero sparkling water, anybody? Okay, we're going to put some in here. Okay. That was a little uh, different thing. How about Sky Vodka? Is your favorite? <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. No, just <laughs> kidding. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of vodka in here. And this is going to represent all alcoholic drink, obviously. This is not just Sky Vodka. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of tap water. This is a Sacramento tap water. 
I know that uh, I'm from Chicago, and in Chicago we have uh, Lake Michigan water. But uh, it goes to water treatment system. It's not any different, okay, than in here in Sacramento. And then we're going to have our prized water, our M water Actify. Okay, as this will fill up, is it number four setting there? You can see it? Uh, it says one plural one and 17 on the other side. Okay. No, no, that's fine, that's fine, but uh, I was just looking. Okay, that's cool. Okay, we're going to have some of our M water as this filling out, then we're going to show you the ORP. Let me talk a little bit about the ORP. ORP is an acronym that stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential. Don't be impressed by the expression, I know it's a mouthful. All it means is this, it's, it's a scale of measurement, same thing like potential hydrogen for pH. But what the ORP is measuring how fast a liquid or a food helps oxidize the body or how slowing that oxidation can occur. In other words, how fast are you aging or how slow you are aging. See, the body is constantly oxidizing just from the environment. That's our nature, that's how we are made. And you're going to see a cool test later on. I'm going to show you about CO2, you know, carbon dioxide and oxidity and why we have lungs and so on and so forth. So the ORP is a, is a, is a scale that is measured in millivolt, in electricity, in electrical value. It's going to have the negative value and it's going to have the positive value. The positive value is something extremely bad for us. The negative value is extremely good for us. This is the only time where you can say, I'm negative and I feel good, okay? So that's why, by the way, this water is called in Japan and Korea, negative water. And you're going to see these values. And with that, I'm going to help myself with an ORP meter. Because there is such thing that can measure that potential of oxidation. Now we're going to take some of our water, okay? We're going to put it right up front in here. And uh, put a little bit of tap water in here. And then some of our water. Now, we're going to use this meter, which is an ORP meter. Okay, it's going to read the, the, the value in negative and positive number, depending on the state of these various liquids. And you know, I want to bring to your attention, audience, that you could see in here, everything is looking clear. Mm -hmm. So if I did one of those Pepsi challenge or whatever, I blindfolded you, and you say, is this an Aquafina, is this a tap water? You'd be very hard pressed unless you taste it and unless you become a connoisseur of these various liquids, then you can start guessing. But otherwise, a clear liquid is clear liquid and is clear liquid. And that's what we want to bridge that gap of understanding because not all clear liquids are good for us. So we're going to use this. And uh, how about George? Could you help me out, George, sure. to read this value? So if you see a positive value in here, call it positive and give me the value. Remember, this is going to go up and down a little bit. See it when it stabilizes and say, call that number. Good enough? Good. All right, let's go ahead and use this, uh, this uh, ORP meter. And in here, this is the gate rate. Positive 265. Pa positive 265. How about Equafina? Positive 277. 277. How about uh, the, oh, the Aquafina now? It was a Sprite before. <laughs> Sorry. Positive 293. Okay, 293. How about the Sony? Positive. 254. 254. How about smart water? Positive 253. <clears throat> okay. So it's oxidizing. So far we've seen these drinks, if you drink them, they're going to oxidize your cells at this kind of rate. Go ahead. The smart wa uh, the Arrowhead uh, uh, spring water? Positive 275. Okay. How about the vodka? Positive 284. 284? Okay. Okay, that's cool. How about the tap water? Uh, it's positive. 360. 360? So vodka is better than tap water. Okay, folks, anyone that has grandkids? Okay, okay, you have grandkids. What's your name? Greg, right? Okay, Greg, when your grandkids come to visit you for the holiday, don't serve them tap water, serve them vodka. <laughs> it's, it's healthier for them. Now you know why those Russian hockey players are really, really husky, right? <laughs> Grown on bread on vodka. How about our water? Uh, well, it's 
still going? Going down. It's positive, but it's going down. 1, 90, 70, 50, 40, 30. Negative. Oh. Negative. Gosh. 1, oh. 6, what, 2. <laughs> it's going up. Oh. Negative. 300. 350. Say it loud. What's the number? 357, 360. It's just going up, going down. Negative 360, folks, and we're still going down. What is it now? 373. 373. So as you can see, this is climbing quite a bit. And that's why negative water is good for you. And basically what you've been here witnessing is when you drink this water and you help yourself and you take it like this and like I'm doing here, cheers. This has what's called a hydroxyl, which is a negative ion, because the water went through an electrolysis process. There are huge five titanium platinum covered plates. These are solid plates. And in that, the molecule of the water gets split into two. That's why it's also called restructured water. And what comes out of here, it's minus ion, or minus H. And that in chemistry is called a hydroxyl. And because it's a hydroxyl, it goes inside your body and it takes all of those free radical, you know, that inside your body, because free radical are positively charged. You remember that uh, game Pac-Man? Pac, 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 right? This is when you drink it, actually, it's going to look for all the free radical, plus and minus bind, and through your dialysis and your bladder, you're going to eliminate the, um, all these free radicals. And in essence, what have we done? We changed our regular water that's come in abundance to our kitchen to our home from the municipalities into an, a, an antioxidant. And why is it important? Because we oxidize constantly. As a matter of fact, if you took an apple or a banana or an avocado and you cut it in half and you left it a couple hours on the kitchen table, what happened to it? It turns brown. That browning is rusting. That rust is oxidizing. The same thing happens to every single cell of our 70 trillion cells we have in our body. So as you can see, this is a really important medical or health proposition to drink negative water because now we turn in here it's almost acting as vitamin c or or uh, alpha lipoic acid or essential fatty acid and so on so guys this is look at this see all this grayish quality of this water i know most people if they get this out of their tap water they said oh my lord what are what are we getting here it's time to call the plumber it's time to do something about it right because it's kind of scary but this is actually the wonder of this water. This is the beauty of the water. This is the, uh, the wholesomeness of this water. When you drink this, just think of it like you drink a bunch of vitamin C. It becomes a free radical scavenger. This is a negative ion, and, and the best time to drink it is straight out of the device. As a matter of fact, the, the, the ORP lasts only 24 hours, and then it's going to degrade back to zero, to a neutral state. Why? Because the environment is constantly beating it, and it too becomes oxidizing like regular tap water. Remember what I said on the onset of this uh, little presentation, that this device, the M-Water Actified by Omega Global, does not change the quality of the water with any chemical. It does not use any chemical. As a matter of fact, a lot of ionizers out there in the marketplace, they use what's something called electrolysis enhancer, okay, to create this quality of water, to create the minus 400 ORP and whatnot. So, this is as far as the ORP quality of the water, okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to check out the pH. Are you guys ready? And uh, I want to bring your attention to this little frame in here. That's a pH scale there. And then pH, potential hydrogen, if you remember from high school, you're either in an acidic state or an alkaline state. Something about us as a human being, we do not need help to be more acidic. By lifestyle and environment, we are always acidic. Our biological terrain, our body meaning, okay, is constantly pushed toward an acidic state. 80% of what we buy from the store is acidic, acid forming food. And uh, so therefore, our body is constantly pushing toward acidic. And as uh, Dr. Otto Warburg is a Nobel Prize winner, he's actually a scientist and a doctor from Germany, and he won his Nobel Prize. And he said in his root cause of cancer thesis, he said, cancer cannot grow in an alkaline, slightly oxygenated environment. Let me repeat, and that's his quote. Cancer cannot grow. Cancer, any other pathology, any other disease, cannot fester in a terrain that is 
alkaline. So it behooves us to be more alkaline than acidic. And we're going to show you how you could become alkaline without having to eat a lot of roughage and three pounds of broccoli in the morning and, and five pounds of spinach at night. And if that is not enough, then you get to do it tomorrow again and so on and so forth. And you see, that is impossible. Because of lifestyle and environment and stress, our bodies constantly move into that acidic state. And now, by investing in one of these devices, you just go to it, you drink it, and you bring in your body into an alkaline. So pay attention, this is really gonna be cool. And with that, I'm gonna use my pH tester. This is a solution. Basically, I'm gonna put four drops in every cup, and if it is acidic, it's gonna go all the way from uh, yellow to really acidic, to an orange state. And I like to think of it like uh, Homeland Security, orange. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, really, really bad if it's orange. But of course, if it's good, it's gonna become blue. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a few drops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so, already guys, you can go ahead and compare. Just watch these glasses and, and look at the picture there, the pH. <laughs> that never fails. Every presentation that I do. All right, so, so here, guys, we're going to use a stir, and then we're going to use something we're going to separate. Yeah, we're going to use this glass, okay? So, guys, watch this. I'm going to give it a little stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. To keep, a, to keep this test as objective as possible. We don't want contamination from one glass to the next, okay? And those of you at home watching this presentation, I hope you get to see the different colors that we get in, in here. It's really pretty. And I'm going to make a quick comment on each one of them. All right. I like it when my audience get excited. <laughs> yeah, because this is, this is the whole idea of this presentation. You know, it's like the old saying, facts tell, story sell. You know, this is, we don't want to just keep it to the intellectual, to the academic level. Folks, we're talking about your body. As a matter of fact, pay attention to uh, the comment I'm going to make at the end of this, uh, this little test. And you're going to really, the point is going to drive home. Look at how orange this thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Compare that to the... I mean, this is extremely acidic. I don't remember which university that they ran a study. They said, if you keep on drinking soda, eight ounces of soda or 12 ounces a day for five years, that condition could lead you toward osteopenia. And osteopenia is a precursor to osteoporosis. Osteoporosis, the brittling of the bone, is also called the silent killer. I mean, this is a serious, serious offense. But out of mind, out of sight, that type thing, and our sight, our mind, whatever, you know, we don't think too much about it because it's, ah, it's just water, it's just another soda. No, it's not. Look at the uh, Aquafina. And you know the irony of it? Whether Aquafina or Dasani, you could see, you know, the state, they're both acidic. You know, you see, you go to the gym and you see people, you know, on the treadmill. So they're doing the right thing. They know they need to exercise and to be fit and trim. But you know what, in break, what they do? Like this, and they start taking their Aquafina. And I'm right beside them saying, no, 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 no. Don't drink the Aquafina. Drink the M Water Actify. Because why? Counterproductive. And also, if you exercise, this is a little sidebar. If you exercise a lot, your, your oxidation potential increases. And that's why you hear sometimes of perfect athletes can fall, sudden heart attack, and so on. If your lungs and your kidneys cannot keep up with that oxidation because it's very hard on the body, you could have also problem. So you can go the other side of that doing a good thing, right? Uh, smart water is kind of eh, less acidic, still a little bit acidic, okay? Uh, no, neutral is just a little bit orangey. No, I see. Yeah, a little bit yellowish, but almost as to its, you know, uh, credit, it's almost like tap water. But folks, tap water, by federal mandate, the municipality must bring the water before they bring it to the consumer, to our plumbing, into a 7.0 neutral state. And you know how they do that? By throwing tons of lye and ammonia and a lot of caustic agent to create and manipulate. Then they put tons of chlorine, 
which is going to be our next test. And chlorine is carcinogenic. Mm -hmm. I hope this is not earth-shattering news. Chlorine is bad for us. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then they put fluoride and they put all kind of other junk. Okay? So what you have out of your tap water, it is not water as nature intended to be. Now, ta-da! For the start of our presentation, folks, this is our M Water Actify. And this is applaudable. Come on, folks. Let's give it. <laughs> this is amazing. Think about it. Now, here is, here's my little comment. Watch this. I want you for a second, forget this coming from regular drinks that we know in the marketplace. Think of them. This is the quality of your cells inside your body. Are you guys with me a little bit in here? Yeah. Yeah. This is like unbeknown to us, maybe symptoms have not declared themselves in terms of illness. Maybe we start feeling kind of tired and a little bit fatigued, okay? Number one complaint in doctor's offices in America is fatigue. Mm -hmm. Interesting, in oriental medicine, fatigue is a serious offense mm -hmm. because it could be something, an inflammation happening. And you know about the inflammation. Today, a lot of studies about the inflammation. So think of this yourself. Actually, this is almost carcinogenic cell. Mm -hmm. Let's take this state, okay? So you start going toward an impending gloom and doom unbeknown to you. Typically, when you have a symptoms, typically, it's a little bit too little, too late. Now you're going from a preventive care, from a prophylactic measure, to crisis care. Now you're going to go to the doctor, and you know what the doctor is going to give you? Drugs that are going to make you more acidic, and so on and so forth, right? And so, watch what we're going to do with this. This is your body. So you invest in this water device and you start drinking and look at your cells, your 70 trillion cells. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow. whoa. That's, That's impressive. impressive. Wow. <laughs> that is impressive. I've done many of this presentation and I always pulls a smile in my face. <laughs> this is an amazing thing. And that's why I told you, wow. think of your body cells, not these liquids. Okay, let's go to, uh, let's go to the tap water. Look at the tap water. See? Look at the vodka. See? It goes through that pH. And I'm going to tell you something, guys, something about pleomorphism. And kind of, I love and passionate about educating and teaching people about, you know, the point is not to turn into a, a healthcare professional. My point is education. It's a lot of empowerment. If you teach people, for example, sugar is a poison. Stay away from sugar. Okay? And sugar, by the way, brings you into an acidic state very fast. That's why if, if, you are, if you have cancer or whatever, you should not take sugar. From a holistic standpoint, your naturopath doctor will tell you, stop all forms of sugar. Did you notice something? Yeah. It took a long time and it's not churning. Now, <coughs> let's, let's, keep on, let's keep on showing you this. Churning, right? Wow. Let's see the Aquafina. Churning. Let's see, Sprite, not churning. Let's see Gatorade. The reason why it's not churning, for example, Sprite, Sprite is 2.5 in a pH scale. It's extremely acidic. Since the pH scale is exponential in nature, it's not a linear scale, it's, you know, it's logarithmic, you don't have to worry about all this little jargon about the math of it. Bottom line, just you have to think, Sprite is 50,000 times more acidic than neutral. Wow. It takes, folks, 50 same containers to bring this, not even to this state, to bring it just to a neutral state, a 7.0. That's called, you know, a 50 to 1 ratio. And it's just, it's just an amazing thing. As a matter of fact, watch this. So you have your little thing, and you have your Aquafina, or whatever, you have this thing, and your body now, your cells are good, and you feel good because you invested in this device, and you start drinking, and then, I said, now I'm healthy, and now I can go to the local bar, or to the, and I'm going to party down. Okay, well, let's find out. Okay, so we have, our body now is doing very good, and we are really good. We have energy, we sleep better, all our, it's cool, isn't it? And then you go and you party. And bam, and you turn immediately into an acidic state. Wow. Hmm. So if you did it once in a company picnic to have a hot dog or you go to the ballpark, hot dog and spray, it's okay. Nobody lives in a, in a, a perfect absolute. 
Okay? But, but if you do it daily, this is detrimental, detrimental to your health. It will bring your house or your temple down. Literally. So for those people who drink a lot of coffee, those people who drink a lot of soda, those people who eat a lot of uh, acid-forming food, they play in Russian roulette. By the way, there's a direct correlation between acid, acidity, acid-forming food, and things like uh, GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, also called acid reflux, mm -hmm. right? Uh, cancer, definitely cancer. Uh, a lot of different of these uh, uh, diseases and illnesses is because your body went away from that homeostasis. A perfect blood is 7.365. A perfect healthy body has a blood of 7.365, slightly alkaline. Isn't, that, isn't this amazing? But then you said, oh, don't worry, Yusuf, because I invested in my water divide. I'm going to go home, and I'm going to bring my body into an alkaline. No, you won't. 50 to 1 ratio. Okay? So this is, uh, this is incredible. Now, let me show you this. Look at it. It's really colorful, but uh, more important than just color, you know, the significance of it from a health standpoint. Because that's what this presentation is all about. We're bridging the gap, something that totally technologically advanced, that the theoretical, the quantum physics, the quantum mechanics of the AFT technology and so on, to something that we can wrap our head around it saying, because people are not really interested about the nitty-gritty of things. You know, uh, we come in in a house, we see a dark room, we go to the wall, we flip the switch to get the light. People are interested about the benefits not interested about how we get there. But we have to show this presentation to kind of, you know, erect some kind of a backdrop of validation. A good validated science is always good. But at the end of the day, it's about grandma can go and help herself and drink. All of a sudden, her body will move to that homeostasis. What's homeostasis? Internal balance, internal equilibrium. When you're in homeostasis, you are in an ease state. And when you're in ease state, what does not exist? The disease state, the disorder. And you can do this just by drinking water. I mean, how, isn't that amazing? The, the simplicity of it. And that's the portion I get so enamored of with Omega Global and even with all the other tools is the simplicity. It's the practicality of our technology and all these accessories. So it's wonderful. I'm going to show you something really quickly and, and that's I'm going to bring the point home. Why our body by nature, because of our lifestyle and environment, we constantly get beat up. Our cells constantly been hammered. Okay, here's a cute word for you called exposome. What does it mean? It's a, it's a brand new word, by the way. You can look it up and Google it. That means the body ability to magnetize or attract everything from the environment. All the bad stuff. Things like free radicals. And, and some free radicals, actually, we start classifying them like a xenobiotic. And you find them in breast cancer and so on. You can put a stop to that by just drinking water. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, and uh, and uh, nature... Nature gave us a set of lungs, and guess why we have lungs? We have lungs, obviously, to get oxygen into our body. That's the first and primary purpose. But there is a second, equal, more important, and more quintessential, actually, function of the lung is what? Taking the carbon dioxide out, which is the byproduct of waste. Remember when your blood goes in your body, it carries oxygen and nutrients, and it takes out and it's way back? all kind of toxicity and acidity and so on. And I'm going to show you some little bit of a, a biochemistry that's going to happen in here and to make my point. So this is, think of it, this is your cells. Are, you're totally alkaline. You're in a state of homeostasis. But then because of your behavior, going to lifestyle and you live life with reckless abundance or drinking a lot of alcohol, drinking a lot of coffee, <laughs> getting stressed out and doing all this gesticulation, and your body start putting a lot of acidity at a rate where your kidneys cannot anymore eliminate it. And that could lead to symptoms, and symptoms could lead to problems, and differently to aging, a fast way of aging. Look at this. I'm going to show you what my lung is going to do. And tell me a little bit when this water changes color. I better stop before I hyperventilate in here. Okay, guys, what have you witnessed? This is not a magic trick. It's biology 101. Chemistry 101. 
What? That's what our lungs, every time we exhale, that's why exhaling deep is really important. Getting all the toxins out, this is CO2. And we went from a total perfect pH of whatever, in that pH scale, to an acidic. So now you start bringing and joining the gap every time you eat sugar, every time you drink alcohol, every time you drink a lot of coffee, every time you take all these acid forming food, soda, every time you take in all that stuff, you end up by throwing your body into more oxidation state. So your lungs now are fighting, your kidneys are fighting, everything is fighting to keep you alive and to keep you healthy. So therefore folks, this is what you witnessed today. I think speaks volume in terms of health and it behooves you to share this good message. And I understand bad news travel faster than good news, but this good news, we're gonna make it travel extremely fast all over the world of Omega because this is the self-care movement and that's what the company's mission is all about. Taking the good news of people and telling them, you know, invest in this device, put it right there on the kitchen counter, it's exactly like what you're doing in here and you're gonna enjoy a beautiful, wholesome product. Now we're gonna clean house and we're gonna throw all the way, anybody want some soda? No, Come on, it's going to the trash can. Come on, it's okay guys, no? All right, fine. How about smart, how about smart water? How about the vodka? No, this one we're gonna keep, okay? So we're gonna keep it right here. All right, that's great. Now what I'm gonna show you guys is chlorine, the chlorine state of our water. And uh, we understand about chlorine, by the way, guys, right? Mm -hmm. Chlorine is, is nasty, okay? It's, uh, it's carcinogenic without a doubt, okay? And we're gonna show you with just a little liquid called OTO. You can buy this out of any pool supply store, okay, to check out, like uh, uh, if you have a swimming pool or whatever, to check out the chlorine content. So, obviously the tap water, okay, and this is our water that is treated. And uh, by the way, a little correction, I hear a lot of people calling this a water filter. That's grave mistake. This is not a water filter. It has a filtration system, but it definitely is not a water filter. On any day, you could go to any hardware store and buy a water filter for 80 bucks. This is a water treatment system. It gives you all these properties I've been talking about. And let's go back to that chlorine. And I'm gonna use one of these, okay? Like we did before. Look at this. Look how much chlorine the municipalities And if you look at it in the chlorine chart, is off the chart. But yet, if I ask you, would you like to drink this? Okay, no, thank you. But you know what? You've been drinking it every time you go to a restaurant. Because out of sight is out of mind. But what you cannot see can actually kill you. Okay? And uh, so this is very, very toxic. This is carcinogenic. This has been established about 20 years ago now. And uh, the, the, the hotter the environment, okay, place like in the summer, they put a lot of chlorine because of bacteria, festation, and so on. So, but it's just an amazing thing. How many of you love to cook? Love it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, are you guys hungry? I'm gonna fix you a meal, okay? Yeah, definitely. Today, I'm gonna make a paella. How many of you love paella? You know, Spanish omelet and all that? Okay, watch me. This is like Ron Popil at work. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this onion because I expect this. If you're gonna have you as guests in my house and I'm gonna cook a meal for you, you expect me to wash my vegetable before I cook, right? Oh, yeah. And my hands and all that. That's part of normal sanitary protocol, right? Okay, so let's see. I'm expecting you, I'm a big waste. So throw the other half of the onion. So what I'm gonna do before I make my omelette, my paella, I'm going to take this onion, and as you expected, we're going to do what with it? Clean it. Yeah. And we're going to clean it with what? Because you don't have the M water Actify yet. Tap water. Yet. We're going to clean it with tap water. Okay, so we're going to take our onion, we dump it there, okay, and we're going to clean it. And then, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to fix you that paella, because it's going to taste so good. It's my favorite dish. I'm good at it too. Okay, so, oh, oh, wow. What happened to the chlorine? It went in the onion. Oh. It did, didn't it? 
What happened to? I think I should cook oh. my paella with this. Oh, yeah. We didn't clean the onion. We cleaned the water from its toxic element. Transferred it. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? But yet, we do not know about what's happening. And we go and we cook, and we cook it for our loved ones and for our children. And you know, we even have seconds. Yeah, it tastes so good. Give me another. Yeah, give me more chlorine, honey. I'm ready for a second. You know, I mean, this is like totally crazy. It's nonsense. But this, now you understand the business of cancer. In 1950, it used to be one out of 30,000 people had cancer. Today, is one out of four. In a space of 60 years, what went wrong? It's not one only factor that has changed. It's all about lifestyle and environment. Our health, guys, our health uh, outcome, it will depend on three factors. One is the genetic predisposition, our genes. You know, the cards that has been dealt at us at birth, right? We didn't have no say so, you know? And uh, so that's the genes. But then also there is the lifestyle and environment. But here's the good news. 80% is lifestyle and environment. 20% is only genes. So we know that even healthy body, you know, have cancer cells. We know that. The difference between somebody without cancer and somebody get diagnosed with cancer on a Monday morning at the doctor's office is the ability of us to keep those cancer cells at bay. How do you keep them at bay? Paying attention to the lifestyle, the thing you drink and you eat and so on, and to the environment with the quality of the environment, the stress, the pH, the ORP, the stuff that we already talked about. So this is an extremely important lesson to understand. And you know, people, because they don't see it. I tell people, you know what? When was the last time you saw a virus or a bacterium? We don't see it. Are you telling me viruses don't exist? They're everywhere in here. But so is electromagnetic frequency. So stuff that unbeknown to our consciousness that's happening. And we, you get the idea, right? bringing our body a little by little, a little bit of here, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and before you know it, symptoms, and before you know it, disease, and before you know it, you have problems, and more problems, and more problems. And the doctor will give you more drugs, which not helping anything, because that's just answering to the symptoms. It's like putting a Band-Aid over a wound. You have to go to the root cause. And the root cause, who wants to deal with the root cause? Let's do prevention. And that's what the presentation today. An ounce of prevention equal a pound of cure. That's what we're talking about. Isn't this great? Absolutely. Yes, yes, absolutely. What we're going to do right now is a tomato taste, uh, test. But you know what's so cool? Uh, I'm using in here these tomatoes coming from Mexico, Nature Sweet. And you know, in some countries, you know, they send us, you know, vegetables and produce like grapes from Chile and so on. And some of these countries do not have the same agricultural standards that we have in North America, in the United States and Canada. They still use, believe it or not, insecticides, pesticides and herbicides. How would you like from this technology, you can take something inorganic and turn it totally organic? Wouldn't that be cool? Just with water, without a drop of chemical. This is an amazing thing. So let's do it. So I put four tomatoes in here. We're going to use tap water. And I'm going to call these your tomatoes. Because you do not have an M water Actify. And this, I'm going to call it my tomatoes. Because I have an M water Actify, OK? And so what we're going to do, we're going to give them a little uh, swishing around. OK? Just like bait them like this a little bit. Tomatoes have tendency to like merry-go-rounds and oh wee, yeah, turn a little bit more, faster, faster. Okay? And then we're gonna take this one, gonna give them an equal amount of turn around, swishing around, okay? And uh, we're gonna let them sit for just like a, yeah, a minute or two, if that long. And in the meantime, folks, I was uh, gonna talk to you about something. Uh, called this book is by Dr. Beth Mangalich and if you want to lay your hand on it is an absolute phenomenal book and why it talks about quality of water it talks about hydration and it talks about and it's written for the lay person so it's very easy it's an easy read what I like is the caption in here the, the title of the book is your body many cries for water okay and the title said you're not sick you are thirsty don't treat thirst with medication yeah, that's, that's just amazing. A little trivia for you. 40% of uh, the geriatric population, the elder people, when they go to emergency room, 42%, up to 42%, actually dehydrated. Wow. 
and you can avoid that call to 911 just by hydrating, by super hydrating. By the way, what's so good about our device is a super hydrator because of that quality of microcluster. It just goes inside our body because it's a negative ion, it's a small compact molecule. Now, we're going to use our cups in here and we're going to take out the water and we're going to show you if the quality of water actually in fact has changed. So these are your tomatoes cleaned with the tap water and these are my tomatoes cleaned with the M water Actify. Wow. wow. You see guys, take a look at in here. What we, what we pulled out of these tomatoes actually is pesticide, insecticides, and herbicide, chemicals that need not to be. And we're not going to give it, just leave it to the visual. What we're going to do is something even better. We're going to ask you, the audience, would you like to try some tomatoes? Sure. That would be cool. Sure. Why don't you, Laurie, pass around. Everybody will take one tomato, okay? So those are the M Water Actify tomato. Let's call them the Omega tomatoes, okay? And uh, go ahead, pass it around. Just like a tomato. Just like a tomato, mm -hmm. okay? Good. And now we're going to chase it, or we're going to, the second one we're going to eat, or you're going to taste rather, is the one that is cleaned by the regular tap water, municipal water. Let's see if there is a difference. Come on, you're going to, I know, I know, you got to continue, you got to swallow it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at their faces. Look at Lori. Look at George. <laughs> I had actually. No, 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 no! You gotta eat it. <laughs> no, no spitting out of the tomato, and that's amazing, guys. When you really think about it. Uh, now, wow. any comments in here on the tomatoes? The before Night and end. difference. Night and day. Oh, big difference. Big difference. Sweeter and water. Yes, sweeter tomato. You know what it reminds me? I uh, used to have, you know, a little garden in, in my house and, you know, a backyard garden. It reminds you of homegrown tomatoes, mm -hmm. homegrown vegetables, because you know these are, are awesome. And there is nothing, the pleasure, the simple pleasures of life. Just go to your backyard and get the little tomatoes and get a little basil and do some pesto and do all kind of stuff with it and cook with it. That's pleasurable uh, 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 lifestyle. And you can achieve that. And uh, you can do a lot of things. See, this device, and we'll talk to you later on about actually the, the different waters and the different grades. It's not just for drinking. It's for drinking. It's for cleaning. It's for cooking. It's for disinfecting, taking out all the chemicals. Yeah, you, you can actually take a glass of water from this M Water Actify because of the AFT property of the water. You put it full. You put it in the fridge, and you actually can extend the shelf life of molded cheese or molded fruits and vegetables because of the AFT energized the whole entire cabinet, the fridge in this case. So there are a lot of different functions that you could have in here. It's not just for drinking. Okay, great. Thank you, folks. Thank you for uh, uh, putting up with my bad jokes and my presentation in here. I hope you enjoyed it. But moreover, I hope you really get to your heart, you know, about this, why we are so passionate about it, why I'm so passionate about it, why so many healthcare professionals start sharing it with patients. And you can do that whether you are unhealthy or healthy. It doesn't make any difference. It's a great investment. And, uh, and uh, Thank you for coming. Those of you who are at home watching this, thank you guests for coming because this presentation is really for you guests. Please get back to the person that invited you to see this technology. And uh, I hope uh, you two will come to the same conclusion as I did 18 months ago, is investing in all of the product of Omega Global for a better health and better body, better mind and better spirit. Thank you for your time. Yeah.